Well, I guess what I'm getting at is how many, like, people's lives are, like, people love Christmas. Like, you know, it's awesome. They get presents, trees, all this cool stuff. Yeah, but, like, but where does it come from? Right. And Why? Like, and they, like, do they know? Like, a lot of these people, like, they don't they don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, no. And, and you know, like, per, pe personally, though. We, we, assume, I mean? like, we assume that there are people out there that know. That do know. You know? Yeah, but, there's plenty of people that but know. But for everybody that... That doesn't. Here's a you know a short little video. What's up, Troop Community? Troop Warriors back at you again. It's that time of the season, so we figured we would take a break from our usual programming. You know, we were about to give you a uh, cannabis edition, but that is on the back burner for just a few days. We're gonna we wanted to break down the actual story and legend of Santa because of the time of the year that in you a, know in a quick way. Yeah, this is a very quick video, something to hold you guys over till Cannabis Edition does come out. But we just kinda wanna give you the breakdown of what the true story or legend of Santa actually is and it just so happens to correlate with mushrooms. Right, right. So might as well do the, you know, we'll do this little first segment of mycelium edition, you know, get that out there in the ether. And, you know, while covering this real quick, because it's about to be Christmas. So, you know, get that done. And it just seems like the, the thing to do. Yeah. Yep. So and also the <clears throat> the cannabis research is, is pretty heavy duty, man. Like, oh, yeah. You start looking into one thing, you end up falling into a wormhole. And yeah. then from that wormhole, you look into something new and then you fall into another wormhole. Right. So expect a bunch of really awesome information. But for right now, we're trying to make sure that it's perfect before we present it. Right. As far as this goes, this is just kind of a, a general breakdown. A fun little thing that just so happens to also be a legend that and you know is yeah. rooted in truth right and it's also like part of everybody everybody in america pretty much for the know, most part not most everyone part, but but especially you know historically too obviously times are changing you know what i mean but i think everybody that that pretty much grew up here especially whatever you right know what I mean? everybody right. knows what christmas is you know I, what I'm saying? I would hope so. so and i'm sure that most people in, you know a lot of people anyway even if you don't celebrate it you you know what it is you know what it's right. about so uh every year uh around late december there seems to be all these different traditions that all center around this this time of year yeah so you got like kwanzaa hanukkah christmas right yeah they all are like at this time of year but we're here to talk about santa Specifically Santa, right? But also because it's the solstice, right? That's yep. that's why all these things are right now. Yep, my birthday is on the twenty second, which is awesome. Yeah, it's this it's the solstice celebration. I think that even though Christmas isn't perfectly on it, still, you know, Jesus's birthday and all that good stuff. You know what I mean? Well, I don't know if we're here to talk about Jesus. No, no, no. But we are here to talk about some other magical things. Right. Well, the fact that Santa was a shaman, that's it. Yeah. The red and white, Amity, the muscaria, Mario mushroom. Yeah, the Mario mushroom, the one that makes you grow real big <laughs> when you eat it. All right, so you had this ancient shamanic tradition. You got the, the shaman of, like, the village group is wearing a, a red and white suit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now around the solstice time, which is Christmas time, December 21st, 22nd, they're all going to celebrate the solstice. So the way that they do this is the uh, the shaman will go out and he will gather these Amanita muscaria mushrooms, the red and white Mario mushrooms. That just so happen to be growing underneath. Of, of coniferous, coniferous, right, pine, tree, pine trees as they have the, the relationship, symbiotic relationship with the roots. What the, you would usually cut down, bring into your house, and decorate for Christmas. Yes, yeah. which is also a tradition in places other than here, too. Like, mm -hmm. that's an ancient tradition as well, too. But, yeah, as far as the mycelium growing with the roots of the tree, that is pretty cool. The mycelium does have a symbiotic relationship with the the roots of the tree and like, helps the tree yeah in tremendous actually, ways oh yeah and that's all plant species anyway yeah <clears throat> but uh not not specifically with the amnias obviously no. but some kind of uh but i digress anyway so <laughs> so the shaman goes out to gather the mushrooms he's walking around this area right well what he'll do is he'll pick out a nice you know big pine tree 
um, of the right shape and size and if it's it needs to be also you would want it to be in some type of clearing it's you want it to be getting direct sunlight where you put the where because of what he's going to do he as he gathers the mushrooms he's not going to put them in a bag he's going to take them and start hanging them on the tree just sticking them onto the bows of the tree there's your ornaments right so as they dry out in the sun they become not as heavy right um they won't squish each other in a bag right and they also won't rot before he's ready to do what he's going to do with them too yeah. and that's also the origin of the stockings because once these things get distributed they're further hung up by the people that get them as a way to store them and and like finish curing them yeah it's pretty interesting yeah they hang them up they would hang them up above the fireplace to right get that heat right and all that dry them out the mushrooms are also your present yeah but now we're getting ahead of ourselves though but yes in a way yeah because that's what santa has in his in his sack that right. he comes down right. your chimney with right yep. but why yeah. does he come down the chimney because of the uh the way their houses are set up because it snows 10 or 15 feet in a winter up there in siberia yep so in the winter the primary entrance to the the house is blocked by snow so the only way to get to the uh, inside is a secondary entrance which is a, is a hole in the roof you know in essence a chimney yeah so what you have right is a guy coming down the chimney on right around christmas dressed right, right, in red and white red and white he comes down your chimney with a sack on his back <laughs> and with some presents for yep, you yep, right yep. he'll then get on his uh most likely he had a sled and a couple reindeer at least with him because this is the main mode of transport up there they don't have horses they don't have nothing else they got sleds and they got reindeer like that's really what they use yeah so then he'll take that and then when it you know comes time he will go door to door um, around this or chimney to chimney yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly because now everyone's gonna celebrate the solstice by you know partaking in these hallucinogenic things which i don't know if i mentioned before or anything about the amity muscari mushroom itself but uh, i think muscimol and ibotenic acid are the main psychoactive compounds in it there i think there are others though too but in any case it's not using the same like psychoactive compounds as like psilocybin Right. It's definitely, uh, it's not going to be as straightforward an experience as if you were to try to eat psilocybin mushrooms. Like, there's a lot of different kind of experiences. Generally, when you hear about an amnesia scary experience, it's not the greatest hallucinogenic experience that people generally describe. Right. But it also has to do with the preparation of it, too. And obviously, the shaman would have known the exact thing absolutely that, that needed to be done absolutely right? and let's not forget that the reindeer well yeah and that's mushrooms. right and that's yeah. what right what i was getting to is that one of the things that they do up there is they will actually wait for the reindeer because these reindeer actually seek out these mushrooms like as a they really like them it's apparently. like a juicy steak to them yeah they love these things right you know you know, and even, even the concept of the uh, flying reindeer is directly from that because it's that's what people report when they take the, the Amnesia muscarias is that it gives you a feeling like you're flying. And so people will actually follow around the reindeer, right, because they're domesticated, you know what I mean? And if they know that this reindeer has been eating these mushrooms, right, or they might even feed the reindeer mushrooms, and then wait for it to urinate, basically, and they'll hold a cup right there and catch it and then drink it and, and get the effects from that because the reindeer's uh, liver and kidneys and all that is able to filter out the, uh, you know, the harmful oh, compounds right. that make you sick. Which is wild. Right. So well, no preparation in that case. Just except waiting. Except for passing through <laughs> a reindeer. Waiting, yeah. Just waiting. Yeah. Wait while it goes through a reindeer. Yeah. But, you know, people, people drink that coffee that goes through that cat. It's some wild yeah, cat yeah, and it like yeah. eats coffee beans and shits mm -hmm. them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, things like this happen definitely. It's just like you barely ever hear about it, but it's really awesome to know that really, like, these are, the, this is a legend that's been passed down for, you know, so long because it's been happening and, you know, you get your St. Nicholas and all this other stuff that wrapped comes along later yeah. wrapped into it. Yeah. But this is your original you know right. santa claus right and the story right. that goes with him yep and yeah, that's pretty awesome and that's really the truth
happy holidays to everybody and cannabis edition is on the way.